Uh, it's early, obviously, a couple of days out from the pre, uh, from the start of the season, even now. Um, for yourself and for the players, obviously, a general sense of excitement about the new campaign getting underway. Yeah, very much so. It's been a been a tough pre-season, but uh, the man managers come in and uh, been very very good working under the new manager. Uh, obviously, John's still left in the in the summer, but yeah, um, a lot different this year. A lot different change of personnel, but everyone's just focusing on board more than. I can't wait to get going, especially, especially selfishly, I must admit, it's been, been a long time coming. Um, but the whole team's ready for Bournemouth on Saturday. I was going to say for yourself, obviously, kind of, uh, last year was just must have been like an injury healthier, you know, kind of so long on the sidelines, and you're probably the most desperate player in the squad to get out there on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that. Personally, I am, but uh, yeah, it was frustrating. Uh, didn't start the season, Mark done well, and then, yeah, got injured, and yeah, long, long time out, but with the help of the physio, um, and the intern Rhiannon, I've, I've got back. I've got back and uh, feeling really strong. So, were there times when you were out that you kind of thought, you know, whether or not you would get back into to kind of playing football first time? Was there any kind of bad thoughts like that that ended the mind at all? Possibly, yeah. When I first see the surgeon, um, but yeah, we, he said, give it your best shot, and you got every chance. Yeah. And it was um, it was a frustrating time in the gym, but um, got through it. Got through it. Of course, um, and obviously you know, coming back into pre-season, as you said there, you know, kind of so much change that's kind of gone on. Obviously, you know, yourself, Matt Robinson, kind of of a small cluster of players that have stuck around. Uh, in in terms of that, for yourself, what's it been like getting news to pretty much a, a new back four, especially in your position? Yeah, I think I think we I'm used to it really because it's part of football, you know. But and because of obviously the situation with the club, and but it's, it's been nice to have some some of the lads who were here last year because we know what's sort of going on, um, and the, the lads who come in. Uh, just took to it straight away. You know, we've got good understanding, um, and some some uh, new loan signings come in, and yeah, it's an exciting buzz around the place at the minute. So. For yourself as well, obviously uh, coming back into the squad now, you, you're the most experienced goalkeeper it is, as you already touched on. Obviously, Mark's departed over the summer, uh, so the battle for for the number one spot is between yourself and Lewis Moore, who's obviously been here for a couple of years. Uh, but in terms of yourself, obviously being that experienced goalkeeper, and obviously Lewis and Tariq Niger as well. Is there kind of a bit more of a development role in, in being the number one keeper now so that you can kind of try and help these boys in, in their careers? Possibly, yeah. I mean, if, 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 they, if they ever uh, wanted advice, I, I'd be glad to give it. But I, I'll learn off them as well. I mean, Lewis is, I've worked with Lewis for two years now and he fully deserves that because he's been fantastic, uh, patiently waiting. Um, obviously, Mark, Mark was uh, in goal and he, he learned a lot of Mark because, like I say, he had a, had a great year. Uh, and I wish him well, Mark. Um, but Ty Tarek as well, he's, he's a good young lad. He's, he's hungry and with the development of Jim, who's, who's helped us this pre-season, and Jim's helped me a lot in my, in my injury recovery. He's pushed me back to where, where, I'm, where I am now, so I thank him for that. And, but yeah, it's just a case of uh, being there if, if needed, you know, and he's challenging me for the shirt, which is, which is what I need. And then just going back to the kind of season in general, obviously in terms of trying to kind of push on it and probably try and prove people wrong this year. Obviously, I looked at the bookies odds, and rather than kind of being at the top this year, Dagenham are kind of more placed towards the bottom with the bookies. But you know, everyone just wants to kind of go out there and kind of prove people wrong. I'm guessing this year. Yeah, probably not so much pressure on us this year, but um, yeah, we, we put pressure on ourselves. You know, it's a younger side, but they're hungry to do well. So you know, no reason why we can't do it. Of course, well, cheers, Elliot, for your time as always, mate.